better now that you're cooking. Well, you have a front row seat to an adventure. <laughs> you look like you have it handled. Yeah, well, that would be a stretch. so breathtaking and it matches the house and plus for those colors which you wish to be beautiful always first prepare a pure white, white ground only you would quote leonardo okay let's see what my money's been paying for okay it's only been two months but <laughs> i'll play you something my mother used to play for me when i was a kid to put me to sleep No, that's beautiful. You're good. <laughs> Thanks. I'm still working on that. I'm going to play that for a little girl. Now a little something for you. OK. I know that. Uh, whoa. 
<laughs> that, that wasn't it. Okay, I'm working on that part. Okay, all right. Honey, you need to go oh. check on the noodles before you burn the house down. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted it to be a special anniversary, you know? First one in our new house. It's the thought that counts. Pizza, wine, candlelight. Speaking of our new house, I want to make this house a home. I want us to start a family. Oh, come on, you know how I feel about having children right now. Eventually, yeah, but right now. You'll be such a good dad. Yeah, as long as I don't turn out like mine. Stop. That's all the more reason why you would. Hmm. You know that. Madison. OK. I'm sorry. I don't think you'll ever understand this. Don't do that. If anyone understands what it's like to lose a parent, it's me. I feel really bad about my dad. I never see him. Well, I told you, if you want to bring him back to come live with us, we can. I don't want to complicate things. It puts a lot of pressure on us. They called today. They said that he was doing fine. Well, let's go see. Let's go down there this weekend and pay him a visit. Really? Really. Please be positive. Please be positive. Who are you talking to? <laughs> you scared me. Stupid pregnancy test. Oh, yeah, I didn't say anything back. Still waiting. Listen, when it's meant to be, it'll happen. <laughs> OK, you know that I've wanted to have kids since I was five. I know. Oh, no, little Michael. And we will have one when it's time. All right, but don't force it. In the meantime, I love you. And we have a lot of time to practice and practice and practice. <laughs> practice some more, but right now, I got to get ready for work. Mm -hmm. What about practice? Mm -hmm. You rather practice? Mm -hmm. I got to get ready for work. Okay, Come on. I love you. I love you too, baby. You'd be so proud right now. I got that promotion I was telling you about. I think they're going to make me partner. I'm the head of my household, like you always taught me to be. Madison quit her job, and now she's going to be able to be a full-time wife. I think I'm going to be OK. I love you, Mom.
did you for last year, did you? I didn't. <laughs> you know I don't like surprises, baby. Mm -hmm. I know, honey, but I just had to. I cannot explain the way I if it isn't the man of the hour. Thank you, thank you, Hatch. I'll see how's everything now at the hospital. Things are going great. You know, there's always room for Madison. If you ever decide to let her work again. Oh, but then I don't have her all to myself. <laughs> right, baby? Right. I just wish Michael would give me a little Michael. Every day. I hear every day. Yes, he mm. does. Yeah. You sure you want to win that perfect figure, girl? Uh, <laughs> but listen to your friend. She knows what she's talking about. Speaking of friends. Oh, hey, man. I need one of those. Let's get you one of these. Oh. Madison? <clears throat> You're the perfect husband. No, sometimes I think maybe he's a little too perfect. Girl, stop hating because you are single. Oh, okay, I am enjoying the single life, thank you. I heard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but as my mom always said, keep an eye out on those good boys. Because they may turn out to be bad. I'm not this one. That's why I married him. Okay. To the good boys. To the good ones. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take this opportunity to give my good boy Mike here and his beautiful, beautiful bride a toast. To the happy couple. You can forget about your problems, baby. Just me. Let's make this house. I hope you liked today. I did. <laughs> I gotta admit, I did. Now it's my turn. Babe, you didn't have to do this. You already got me the piano. Yeah, I know, but it reminded me of us, and I couldn't resist it. Anyway, I'm trying to give you the world, so. Till death do us part. You know, you are everything to me. Help me with your hair. Mm-hmm. And you are the only good thing that's happened to me my entire life. Can't imagine life without you. You mean that? I mean that. I love you. Oh my God! They're <laughs> so cute. Is this the cute. only color they had at the store? <laughs> you know I'm obsessed with red. Oh my God! Wow. Okay, no judgment, but um, don't you think you should wait till you're pregnant first? I just had to get these. I can just see my little one prancing around. Oh my it's God! Just... And what if you have a boy first? Hmm? I don't know. I can worry about that later. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Reminiscing about the times we was going through the struggle. Since a young boy, you were sending out of trouble. Hanging with the wrong crowd, now you gotta do the time. Hitting lips in the streets, tell me what was on your mind. I never could imagine seeing you in jail. I was by your side when you needed them. You should have seen the pain that you put on my hey, hey, hey. Drink some water. Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh. Oh. You know I can't drink water I know, without my man. Sorry, babe, I forgot. It's not like you to forget, though. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You 
working me out mm -hmm. or that bag? Mm -hmm. You're next. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. All right. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Give me the feeling. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, but we had our share, though, didn't we? We had our share. Oh, man. Wow. What happened to me? I ain't never get married. I ain't never let none of these hoes run this show over here. I run my shit. I ain't never been married. Yeah, that guy, that guy was shocked, too. <laughs> mm. You know, but... I mean, I'm sure you remember what, you know, what happened to my parents. Yeah. And, um, I'm not really sure I ever let on how bad that was for me. But that took me to a really dark place, man. Oh, man. I'm sitting over here crying like a bitch. You no, can feel, man. You feel what you gotta feel. But then when I met her, man, it's like my light came back on, you know? Yeah, right one to do that for you. Yeah, she changed everything. But she tells me that, um, that your business has you traveling all over the world. Yeah, yes, sir. So what is it that you do now, Mr. Traveler? I've got a digital security company, man. A little private protection mixed with a little, uh, you know, private investigation. The rich kids run away. You gotta find their dumbasses. Still protecting people. But you know what? Travel a lot. My wife hates it, but I get to choose my clients. What what happened to um Leslie Smith? No, no, it's Johnson. No, no, Leslie Smith, bro. Oh <laughs> you followed through! Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Well, hey, you got kids? Absolutely too. Look at that. Man. What about y'all? Y'all wanna have some kids? Not right now. I I don't want a kid right now. I just want my wife. Oh, he's been a selfish bastard. I know, I know. I'll admit I'm a control freak. But, you know, I, I do love her. I love her. I really do. I want to give her everything. Everything. Just some kids. <laughs> I not hear you, bro. But, you know, we got to think about how they feel. It's all about what they want, too. Yeah. I just don't know what to do. Tell her the truth. Just tell her the truth, man. Listen, what I've learned in marriage is that the key to success is communication, 100%. Like, I, I don't have any secrets that I keep from my wife. <laughs> 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 okay, I, I know, I know there's at least two secrets that you got right now. You didn't dare tell that lady she wouldn't have married you. Oh, man. You're right. I gotta be honest with her. And honest with yourself, too, bro. That's the key. Cheers. Absolutely. Hey, babe. Listen, um, we need to talk. Yeah, we sure do need to talk. Excuse me? Why would you lie to me, Michael? What are you talking about? You knew how confused I was that I couldn't get pregnant. I found this. You've been going through my things? Don't. Does that even matter? You've purposely been taking testosterone injections so I couldn't get pregnant. How could you lie to me? Madison, listen. Don't Madison me. I trusted you. You knew all I wanted to do was to have kids. You knew that. You're right. I've been taking those injections. Because I don't want to have children right now. And I've told you that a hundred times. And you keep pushing it. I work very hard to provide this life, Madison. 
I pay the bills. I provide everything. Is that not good yeah, enough? Yeah, for you, it's good enough. What about what I want? What about me? What about what I want? This is ridiculously selfish okay, of you. Again, you need to watch your tone. You are such a coward. You are a coward. Okay. You are a liar. Don't okay me. Calm Don't... down. I'm not going to calm down. Do not tell me to calm down. I do everything for you. I do everything. I quit my job for you. I sit here and I cook and I clean. I love my father for you. I treat you like a king. As you should. As you should. That is your job. Be a wife. As your husband, I deserve more respect than you're showing me you right not. now. You are not my husband. You are a liar. Respect? A husband would never lie to his wife. Your father never would have lied to your mother like this. <laughs> no. Let me make something perfectly clear to you. I'm the man of this house. I make the money, I make the rules. I will not be disrespected here. Do you understand me? Now, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> but you need to check yourself. Let's not let that happen again, okay? It disrupts our household. And please, don't you ever again in life mention my father. Now let's get you cleaned up. sexier with your hair down, don't you think? Oh, are you sure, babe? I don't know. I think it looks better up. I saw you talking to my colleague, Ryan, tonight. He was being pretty friendly, don't you think? I talked to all your colleagues, Michael. I was socializing for you. Isn't that why you invite me to those parties? Don't play me. It's insulting. He was practically undressing you with his eyes. I didn't notice. Yes, you did. You absolutely did. It was like you guys knew each other. Come here. Come here. Come on, Mike. Being too rough. Is it my pants? 
do it. That's crazy, Maddie. Mm. I mean, you've only, you've only been with him, right? Come on, of course. I thought you said everything was good. They were. All of a sudden, he had a really bad day at work, and I guess he took it out on me. Oh my God. It's not his fault. <laughs> He's been really stressed. His job and stress. And the baby. That doesn't give him a reason to hit you. And while you're four months pregnant, you need to stop making excuses for him and go to the police. He's my husband. Chelsea, I am carrying his child. I am not going to go I knew, back I knew to he the... was too perfect. I knew he was just as my mother said. What kind of man hits his pregnant wife when she's carrying his child? Who does that? Stop. I don't want this to be a bigger deal than it already is. Okay? Do not, do not blow this out of proportion. Look at your face. Madison. We have been best friends since high school. And I've always had your back. You know me, Maddie. You know me. I'm not just going to sit back and do nothing while this man substitutes his Shh. bags with your face. It's okay. If this happens again, I will go to the police my damn self. He won't do it again. I trust him. Trying to mix it all up. Want to be in control, yeah. Give me more love. I can pick it all up when I hit it. Uh-huh. Watch it. Wrong. Why are we stopped? What are you doing? Because I want to talk. I want to know what's wrong with you. You haven't said anything to me all night. You ruined dinner now. You're not talking to me on the way home. What's wrong? What did I ever do to you? Tell me. Was I not everything I promised you I'd be when we got married? Just stop with the fairy tale. No, oh, was I not everything I promised I'd be? It's life. Get over it. You never get over it. You never get over it. You never let me live it down, do you? How many times do I got to tell you I'm sorry? As many times as you keep doing it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. How many times? I don't have time for this. I do not have what are you time doing? for this. What are you Michael, doing? I don't have time for this. this. It's all about you. Everything is about you. I'm getting an Uber, and I'm not going to be there when you get home. You're not getting stuck. Get Have you lost your goddamn mind? Get back in the car. You're embarrassing Stop me. Shut up. Him. Shut up. Don't shut up. Get your hand off me. Get your hand off me. I've told you about this before. I cannot live without you. I will not live with that. Shut up. Stop threatening me with that. It's not smart. Now get back in the car. Get in. Stop it, Michael. Get in the car. The pain is right. 
domestic violence very, very seriously. suggest that she get a restraining order. And by the time the police arrive, she could be dead. Look, I'll give you my card, OK? And if you need anything or anything comes up, just please uh, don't hesitate to call, OK? I just feel like I'm just there. I'm gonna go to the store. Special. Now, exactly what it is, I don't know what could be arranged. Is there anything you need me to get you while I'm out? <laughs> Michael. Has it really gotten this bad that you can't even talk to me? Fine, I'm gonna go stay at Chelsea's. You gonna do what? Are you are you tr are you trying to piss me off? After all I've done for you, you're gonna run? Stop! Stop with that. It is not about that. What about love? What about our wedding vows? You told me that you would protect me from anyone, anything else out there, and the main thing I need protection from is you. Till death do us part. Remember. You kill me, then you pretend it's you. She suffered severe head trauma from the steering wheel, which led to internal bleeding in her brain. And um, we tried to do everything we could to save her. But unfortunately, she passed during surgery. Oh, God. <laughs> what about the baby? I'm so sorry, Mr. Ryan. We weren't able to save her. Body, sir. Uh, no. Michael. Michael. Michael.
I was six months pregnant the day I died. That same day, I was able to live again. Chelsea, he took the bait. This is gonna work. Within two minutes, you'll be out. It'll last long enough to take you through to the emergency room. When you wake up, you won't remember anything. suffered severe head trauma from the steering wheel, which led to internal bleeding in her brain. We tried to do everything we could to save her. But unfortunately, she passed during surgery. <sighs> what about the baby? This is crazy. We could stop. We don't have no, to do this. No, no, it's too stop. much. It's too stop. much, Chelsea. It's just... already done. What if we get caught? It's, it's already done. This was the right thing to do. For you. For this baby. Okay, Kate, I'm getting out of here. You leaving? You got this? I got it. All right, don't forget to cut off the lights and set, set the, the alarm. alarm. You got it. Have a good night. to say the least. Mm. I got you back. You know what I don't get? What? How you chose the name Kate. <laughs> I hate that name. Why? Oh, well, I don't know. Why don't you go something exotic, like Paris? Or... <laughs> no, not doing Paris. I've always wanted to go to Paris. Mm. Could do that. Well, with all this money, 
you can take us both to Paris. Oh, <laughs> I am so glad I made you the beneficiary. It's a genius idea. So, tell me everything. I want to know. I want to know about everything. How's a new house, new environment? I mean, you must be going crazy here around no one you know. Honestly, Chelsea, I feel so free. I mean, I love my house. It's perfect. I feel so safe away from him. And I finally got my black piano. No! You've always wanted a black piano. Oh, has a little one. He will be playing it, too. He. he. It's a he. Yes, it is. <laughs> What's up? How do you do? It's been a few minutes since I've been watching you do what you do. Yes, no, I can't you. lie. I'm feeling you. But it's something about you that I can't figure it out. No doubt, that's what it's all about. The mysteries, the uncertainties, yeah, yeah. It's real, just wanna chill. Get to know you, maybe even have a little bit of just you. You tell your friends, I'll tell my friends. Nothing serious, just you. Alex, and this is uh, my daughter, Rachel. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Rachel Stone, and I'm six years old. How old are you? No, how are you? <laughs> I didn't ask her to say that. Oh. Wow, she is adorable. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel, a woman never tells her age. We, uh, sorry about that. We're, uh, we're next door. Uh, Rachel's school is doing a toy drive, so we're going around to all the neighbors and asking <clears throat> for uh, do donations, contributions. Hi. I'm Kate. Nice to meet you, Kate. One second, OK? OK. Oh, she looks, she seems nice, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I think so. Say what? Hey. I hope this oh. helps. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Anything for the kids, anything, especially one as cute as you. Thank you. We appreciate it. Um, well, congratulations. You guys must be excited. And your husband? Husband. You said, you said husband. Oh, I'm sorry, no. Who said anything I just, about a husband? I'm sorry. Just, uh, I assumed a pretty good... Okay, sorry about that. That's my bad. All right. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> uh, you, nice, nice to meet you, yes, too, Yes, you need help around the neighborhood? I'm right next door. Okay. okay. Thank you. Sorry, you startled me. Yeah, I'm, uh, it's my bad. I was, I'm in my music in my yard, keeping busy. Well, Mr. Busy, <clears throat> I noticed that you were stealing <clears throat> my lemons from my tree. Oh, okay. 
Uh, well, I apologize, Miss Lemon Tree Police, uh, but your lemons were falling over into my yard, so I got to scoop them up. I don't know what you think about that. Well, I could call the police and report you for trespassing, so what you going to do about that? Hmm. Well, I could say that you're standing on my property right now, so who really is the trespasser? Touche. <laughs> I admit, I was borrowing your lemons, but for good reason. Um, See, I made I make a mean lemon meringue pie. Really? Mm hmm well, With my lemons? Yes, with your lemons. So you cook? No, I don't cook. I, I throw down. That's, that's what I do. Really? Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, this may seem weird, but I'm making lemon meringue pie tonight for my daughter. And, and since I'll be using your borrowed lemons, why don't you, why don't you join us? No, I don't think so. No? Mm -hmm. Well, think about it. I'll think about it. Okay. Alex, the lemon thief. Okay. <laughs> okay, Kate, Miss Trespasser. <laughs> think about it. Hey. What's up? I can't have lemon meringue pie without the ice cream. <laughs> Is that enough? I think so. Open up the champagne. Pop. It's my house. Come on. Turn it up. Uh. Hear a knock on the door and the night begins. Because we've done this before, so you come on. Chelsea gives her approval. She's a handful. Oh, yes, she is. <laughs> oh, she just left. Oh, boy. Where's Rachel? Oh, she's asleep. She's out. Passed out, huh? Yep. Yeah. Those stars. Yeah. I wanted to ask you something. Hmm. Why just you and Rachel? You divorced? No. No. Uh, my wife passed on when she was delivering Rachel. I'm so sorry. That's OK. I mean, I feel like such a jerk. I did not mean it's to cry. It's all right. It's all right. It's good to talk about it. Healthy. I'm good now. I mean, obviously, you know, there are good days and bad days, but, uh, you know, when she, I was blessed with Rachel, so <laughs> she'd be proud. Uh, enough about me. What, what's up with you, though? No ring. Walking around good and pregnant. I saw you <laughs> yesterday at the, uh, the farmhouse. I called your name, but you must have not heard me. I must have. I go deaf sometimes when I shop. Okay. <laughs> it almost seems like your name wasn't Kate. Well, it is. Okay. I mean, it's okay if it isn't. I won't tell. Is 
Is it Laquanda? Hanging out with Chelsea too long. Why did you change it? I married the wrong man. He was abusive. <clears throat> Mentally, physically. He was the perfect guy until one day he wasn't. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't. You don't have to talk about no, this. No, it's okay. Like you said, good to talk about it, right? I mean, it just came out of nowhere. It just snapped. It was like I never knew him. Like I married a stranger. I asked myself, how could this man ever put his hands on the woman he said he loved so much? God, those nightmares, those memories, they still haunt me. Nightmares, you know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just stop. Stop staring at me. You can't help it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm no, sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's I'm okay. Sorry. I, I can't. Was, I just. I get it. I know. Okay. I didn't. Don't make it the. No, it's okay. Mr. Roland, you have a calling one. Uh, can you take a message, please? They said it's regarding your wife. Okay, thank you. This is Mr. Roland. Hello, Mr. Roland. This is Brenda Walsh in the finance department over at McKinley Medical. I'm trying to reach your wife, Madison. She never picked up her last paycheck, and we've been trying to reach her, but the number we have on file for her seems to have changed. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what you're, what you're talking about, paycheck? It's her final paycheck. When she quit a few months ago, she never collected it. Huh. There must be some kind of mistake. My wife never worked at your hospital, ma'am. Her best friend Chelsea did. Maybe you have him confused. I'm sure she did. Uh, it says here in our records that your wife worked mornings, two days a week, Wednesdays and Thursdays. There's a mistake. My wife would go for her morning runs on Wednesdays and Thursday mornings. That is so strange. It clearly says that Madison Rowland was an employee. OK, I don't know what's going on, but my wife won't be picking up any paychecks anytime soon. She died a few months ago. Um, are you new to the hospital? No, sir, I, I'm not. I've been here 10 years. Why? Well, she died in your hospital, and I would think that you would have record of that on file. Hold on, Mr. Rowland. Okay. I do have here in our database that Madison Rowland was admitted into the emergency room at 10.45 p.m. March 21st due to a car accident. That is so strange. It doesn't have her time of death. It says that she was checked out that same night at 11.37 p.m. Excuse me, I'm looking for a Dr. Foster, please. I apologize, sir. We don't have a Dr. Foster here. Uh, can you check? I'm sure I've seen him here before. Sir, it's my job to know all the doctors here. I would know if there was a Dr. Foster, which we don't. OK, I I'm sure you're quite capable. But can you please check? He maybe he's on a different wing or side or whatever you guys say. Maybe you're at the wrong hospital. Uh, there's actually another hospital a couple blocks from here. You can check there. OK, I, I know her.
I'm sorry. It's been a long day. My name is Michael Rowland. My wife is Madison Rowland. She was checked out March 21st. I, I, yeah, I just needed a copy of her records. Uh, she's pregnant. I need them for her new doctor. We just moved upstate. She was checked out March 21st? Excuse me, Heather. Do you mind checking to see if we have a um, file from Madison Rowland, please? How's your day going? It's well, thank you. Good. Ah, uh, like I said, long. Got it. Sir, do you mind if I get some ID, please? Thank you. Okay. And she left this the night, uh, she left. All right. Can I see the file, please? Sir, whatever information you need, I'm happy to fax it over to the doctor. Okay, but I'm here. It's my wife. We're having a child. I can just take Sir, it. Sir, I can't give you the file, but I'm happy to fax it over to the doctor for you. I haven't noticed how everything has to be difficult. It's a beautiful necklace. Thank you. I can tell right now that you're happy to see me. The... There you go. There you go. Whenever you're ready, okay? Thank you. Hey, Charles. Okay. I'm on my way. Yeah. Amanda, um, I, I have a family emergency. Will you take care of everything? Yeah, is everything okay? Yeah, I think so. All right, we'll go. I got this. Okay, get out of here. Thank you. Doctors say I don't have much time left. I'm so sorry I wasn't here. It's okay, princess. I know you're really busy. My name is Michael Rowland. I'm here to see my father-in-law, John Harris. Okay, let me check on that. You know, you should give your mother a call. It'll make her so happy. I don't want to talk about mommy right now, okay? This is the last time you talk to her. Long time. You're gonna be a granddaddy. <laughs> wow. Okay, it looks like he's been moved to the West Wing due to a stroke he had a couple of days ago. Really? Why don't I just stay a while? You know, I don't get many visitors lately. If you make a right down this hallway, you'll find him in room 13. Down here? Right that way. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. I love you too. Hey, princess. Is that you again? No, Pops. It's me. Michael. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Came to check you out. I'm good. I'm glad to see you and, and 
You came together with Madison? What did you say? Madison. You're right here talking to me. No, it was hard on all of us when we lost our pops. They mean loss. I mean, she died. Madison, I did. Madison was just right here, just talking to me. My mother's coming to see me, too. We're going to have ourselves a picnic. It's just all of us together. You should stay for the picnic. Mary would love to see you. Like we used to, like old times. Sorry, Pops. I'm not gonna be able to stay. But I'll come back. I'll see you again. Hey, you. Hey. hey you. What's up? Alex the Lemon Thief. Yeah. Say what? Alex the Lemon Thief. Ah, hate the trespassing. <laughs> About last night. Oh, I please, no, you don't. It's all good, all right? It's, sorry it was so awkward. I get it. Um, I think you should know I like you. So I just hope you don't treat this situation, you know, like <laughs> the old ones. No, I don't. Trust me. Um, so I wanted to say I'm sorry. And it's just, this, us, it's kind of scary, you know? Yeah. I'm scared too. I'm still healing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do you say? We just take it one step at a time. Yeah, yes, I'd like that. Cool. Oh, all right, me too. I'm glad we're still talking, because, uh, Rachel misses you, so it's good. You're going to put this on Rachel? Say what? You didn't miss me? The, no, it's only been a day, so I don't know. A little bit? No, no. Oh, okay. A little bit. <laughs> ah. Thank okay. you. All right, cool. Good talk, good talk. Yes. Thank all you. Right. <laughs> Back day. to work, busy yes. man. Watering the lawn. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean, what even makes you think she's still alive? Well, I got a call from the hospital saying that she had failed to pick up her last paycheck. And when I pressed them on it, they said she was checked in and then she was checked out. They didn't have any record of her dying. But you did see the body, right? Well, from a distance, yeah. I mean, Rob, you gotta understand, man, I was devastated. The love of my life, my unborn child, both dead. It was hard, man. I, I had her cremated. Well, then, if she was cremated, then you know she's not alive. Chelsea. Like I said, it was hard on me, so I had her best friend, Chelsea, handle everything, including the cremation. What you're telling me is that you aren't sure that she was actually cremated. I can go this thing alone, or I can get my guys on it, but it's going to cost you a lot of money. Money's not an issue, man. Find her. All right, in the meantime, you need to get some help, brother. Long time no see. Hey. It, it, it has been a minute. How are you? Uh, I'm okay. You know, just taking it one day at a time. Hey, come here. Come here. Oh, I know. It's, um, it's, been, it's been hard. You know, I... I, um, I can't believe I lost my best friend. So to what do I owe this pleasure? Uh, just want to let you know I'm selling the house. Uh, it would really mean a lot if you came by and helped with Madison's things. If you want to. Yeah. Sure. Sure, just let me know when. Well, maybe tomorrow you can come by. If you're not too busy. OK. Cool. <laughs> See you there. Michael. 
It's... It's really good to see you, Jungkook. work together. You want another cone? Yeah. What about this one? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm happy you came today. Mm -hmm. My daddy really likes you. He does. Guess what? I really like your dad. And you too. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. You can tell me anything. You're so Excuse me, miss. Can I help you? I've also followed up on the lead of that address that you gave me. Yeah, I know. I, I Googled it, but I figured that had to be a dead dead lead. And it's a barber stand. Why would she? Yeah, what you don't know is that a couple of weeks ago, a woman started working in that fits her description. My guy has looked into it. So we're on it. Don't worry about it. I got, I, I, I'll go look into that. No, 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 you're not going to look into it. That's what you paid us for. All right? So let me do my job. Secondly, have you looked into some kind of counseling, bro? Yeah, I thought... Don't I lie to me, man. I talked to somebody about it. I got that. I got it under control. Don't worry about it. Just me. Okay. You all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I startled you. Yeah, no, 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 I'm fine. I just get a little paranoid sometimes. Yeah. You know, me in this house by myself. Okay. Well, you know, you don't have to be. What does that mean? Alone in this house by yourself. Where's Rachel? Rachel's, she's staying over at friends, spending the night. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay. Damn. <laughs> Sorry. You were even beautiful in the morning. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Are you a witch? <laughs> Trying to make me blush. <laughs> Freaks me out a little bit. <sighs> Thank you for staying with me. Mm. It's been a long time since I just talked, you know? I know, right? I hope I didn't talk to you all. Oh, you didn't. Because you fell asleep in the middle of my last story. <laughs> I did. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one. I was sleeping for two, remember? It's all good. I had fun. Me too. I gotta hit the head up right back. <laughs> Do 
Did you just put the toilet seat down? Yeah. Did I do something wrong? No. Not at all. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you did everything right. Do you, do you like me? I like donuts. Do, Are you a donut? Do no. you like donuts? Yes. <laughs> go. Excuse me. Hi. My name's John. I'm looking for Madison Rowland. Madison Rowland? There's nobody here by that name. You sure you're in the right place? Uh, yeah, this is the address I was given. Yeah, sorry, no Madison here. That's strange. I'm her brother. Father's in the hospital. I just wanted to let her know about it. I'm, I haven't seen her in years, but I actually have a picture. Kate. Kate Smith. She works here. Kate. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about your father. Uh, you want me to let her know you came by? I didn't catch your name. Do you happen to know where she's staying? That I can't help you with. But if you want to check with the elementary school down the street, her boyfriend teaches down there. Want me to write it down for you? So he came to visit you out of nowhere? Yeah. I mean, he wanted me to come and help him pack your things. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you should help him. As we don't want to give him any signals that lead to me. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it just felt strange, you know? I mean, I didn't even know Michael knew where I lived. I mean, that is odd. Ah. <sighs> mm. uh. Oh my gosh. What? What happened? Uh, I think my water just broke. Are you, are you sure? It, it... Uh, I think I'm going into labor. Right now? Right now, right now? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. I have to get my, that's, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm on my way. Okay, hurry. You were amazing. Oh, thank you. If I ever find myself in that position, I'm like, hey. Oh, you well, honey, with that hair. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, we'll yeah, get baby. you somebody in here for oh. sure. So how does it feel to be a mommy? Amazing. And exhausting. <laughs> That's a lucky kid. She's oh. beautiful. Thank you. <laughs>
Who decided to wake up? <laughs> Did you guys just get back? We just came from the vending machines. That's your favorite. Not my favorite. <laughs> I don't know. They're mine. Um, I didn't know what to get you. So. You can have that. <laughs> I've got a long drive. I'm going to head back, OK? OK. You let me know if you need me to bring you anything. Anything at all? No. OK. Thank you. Mm. Oh, I love dear. you. <laughs> Jinx. Oh, my little baby maker. Tell that baby that Aunt Chelsea says hello. Oh, I'm going to give him a Please do. Text me when you get home. I will. Absolutely. Love you. I love you. How are you feeling? Hey, Chelsea. Oh, here she is. OK, Kate. Hey. You and Alex are all set to go. Your <sighs> baby boy is very healthy. Seven pounds, six ounces. your signature right here. Did you think of a name yet? I know one of the nurses said you were undecided. Peace. His name will be Peace. That's beautiful. Thank you. I wish you the best. Thank you, Doc. Thanks a lot, Doc. Sure. Peace. Yeah. It's all right. Want to go get Peace so we can get out of here? How are you feeling? <laughs> you all right? A little tired. Yeah, a little tired. Oh, wow, you were working hard in there. <laughs> you were all right. This dude, he's going to be a good, a good sleeper. Is he? Yeah. He is out. Oh. Here we go. All right. Sweet dreams, buddy. He's beautiful. He says, thank you. <laughs> hey, why don't you and Peace come over tonight? I get a blanket. We could have a little little living room picnic. I know Richard would love to meet little dude. And, um, and I give really good foot massages. I am going to take you up on that. Excellent. Outside. That's wonderful. Wonderful news. I'm just going to freshen up. Pack a small bag. OK, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, lemon meringue. Or... I'll bring the ice cream. Yes. yes. Hey, Alex. Yeah. Thank you so much. For what? For everything. For up? Uh, yeah. Because it's happening. Mm.
Alex? Alex, is that you? Madison, come on. this song. Michael. Michael, please don't hurt my baby. I would never do anything to hurt him. Hey, buddy. You're right. Give him to me. He needs his rest. It's okay, son. Daddy's here. Thank you. 
I did or where I went, all I could think about was I killed my wife. And I blamed myself for it every single day. Every day. You made a joke out of me, didn't you? And then I come to find out you're alive. I really did not mean to hurt you. strange. One single thing. I will kill him. Go get the door. Go get the door. Hey, beautiful. Hey. Uh, Rich and I over there. Waiting on you. Hey, Alex. I was on my way over, but um, I had to take care of some things. OK, cool. Well, the foot massage is called your name. Uh, I just want to make sure everything's cool, because I texted a couple times. You didn't respond. That's yeah, I was uh, taking a bath and relaxing. Hmm. I lost track of time. My phone was on the charger. Got it. OK. I'm going to stay in tonight. I'm really exhausted. OK. All right, I understand. Um, you sure OK? Because me and Richard, we can come over. I'm fine. Oh, I appreciate the offer. OK. No, Rachel's going to be mad. You give her a kiss for me? I will do. All right. Good night. OK. Lake. Good girl. You got your family.
Yes, uh, please, I ha there's an intruder in my house. Hurry, hurry, he has a gun. Don't. Don't! 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 Do not come one step closer. I will blow your head off. Next one won't miss. Doesn't matter. I don't have anything to live for. I died when I lost you. I loved you, Madison. I loved you more than anything in the world, and you turned on me. Like my father turned on me and my mother. I was so young when he killed her. I was a kid. One shot, that's all it took. If I can't have you, nobody will. <laughs>